Hi, I'm Willa Sipple. And I'm Celestine Foreland. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. Around this time of year, many high school seniors are feeling pressure surrounding where they're going to end up next year. While attending a college straight after the high school has become increasingly common, we decided to investigate what it's like for students who have chosen a slightly different path. We wanted to look at students who are either going straight into the workforce, taking a gap year, or decide to do something else other than attend college next year. We wanted to find out why these students had chosen these unique paths and what they hoped to gain from these experiences. I always wanted to do something right after high school. I just didn't want to go to college four years, two years more, and not have a job and depend on my parents still. So I just rather, you know, work. And now I'm an out of body and I love it. After I graduate, well, I'm planning to keep working, but after I work for around two years, I'm planning on doing a um, automotive type of thing, so a mechanical shop or something like that for two years to learn more about it and have more experience in the industry. And saving money for, you know, a newer car and also, you know, if I go to college, I don't have to do loans and all that because I'll have money saved and, you know. I made up my mind when I was 13. I want to become a Navy SEAL. So, I thought that I should do Marines first, work my way up again, physically, until I'm ready to become a Navy SEAL. Now, any female can join. I thought that college is very expensive, first of all, and the Marines offered to pay for it. Next year, I want to take a gap year and move to Berlin because I used to live there, and I want to do something art-related, like an internship, um, working at like a gallery or, or um, something like that because Berlin has a really cool art scene. I think that it's kind of crazy that like high school kids that are like 16 usually when they have to start thinking about college um, in like your junior year that like kids at that age have to actually start thinking about like what they want to do for the rest of their life. Um, so I think that this gap year will be a good chance for me to sort of chill out and like get really excited again for being in a more rigorous academic environment. Regardless of what you choose to do next year, it's important to remember that everyone has a unique path and you should seize the opportunities that are presented to you. Good luck and goodbye. Thanks for watching. This was Tell It Like It Is.